Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. You've probably heard of Complete by Native Instruments. It's their suite of virtual software instruments and effects. But did you know they have a free version called Complete Players? Well, in this series of videos, we will check it out, do some demonstrations so that we can figure out if it's any good. These native instrument complete bundles are very widely used for various types of music and film production, but I've never really tried them out myself before. So I think it's high time I took a look at them and I'll share the experience with you. The various bundles and software packages are a little bit confusing and rather overwhelming. So let's start by explaining and trying to simplify that. So this comparison chart doesn't actually show the free version for some reason, but let's take a look at these other three. Now complete 11 select is what you get with certain native instruments, hardware controllers. Okay. Otherwise you can buy it for 200 euros, but otherwise it's included free of charge. It's part of the bundle. You get 11 products, two and a half thousand sounds and a 25 gig sample library. If you want more, then you're looking at complete 11. Now this is the standard, regular product costing 600 euros, but you're getting a lot more for your money. You're getting 45 products, 13,000 sounds and 155 gigs of samples. But if you want to go all in on this, then you'll be looking at Complete 11 Ultimate, which doesn't include everything that native instruments do, but a big majority of it anyway. So 87 products, 18,000 sounds, 500 gigs of samples, and this one is in at a pretty steep 1200 euros. What else does it say here? Some upgrade information, included products. This is also very confusing for beginners and for myself, what all this stuff is. Reactor 6 player, Contact 5 player. If you look at the regular edition, you get Reactor 5, no, Reactor 6, Contact 5. So you get player versions with the other entry level suites. Here you can get an overview of which synthesizers. I'll leave a link to this page so you can have a look yourself, but we're actually interested in the free version today, which includes, of course, even less than Complete 11 Select. Let me show you. So let's take a look at the product page for Complete Players, see what you get. Well, 500 plus sounds, 600 plus megs of samples, free download, easy installation. We'll put that to the test. And expandable. You get three plugins, you get Complete Players, brings you three powerful audio platforms for free. Reactor 6 Player, and these are the light versions of these products, just so you know. Guitar Rig 5 Player and Contact 5 Player. The included libraries provide over 500 sounds and effects, plus you get blocks wired. Don't know what that is, but we'll find out shortly. Complete Players comes with more than 600 megs of sounds for free. This is interesting. I'm very curious to hear what sample library you get with this. And you can expand it. A couple of screenshots there. Okay, Reactor 6 Player. This is their huge modular synthesizer engine. All in software, of course. A couple of screenshots of that. Blocked wires I've never tried before, but this looks like an introduction or a set of tools to build your own modular synthesizers. That'll be fun, some modular synthesis. And we have reactor signature instruments, laser bass, a monosynth carbon two, space drone, interesting, and new school, a unique and unpredictable generative sequencer. Okay, that'll be interesting to try. Guitar rig I have tried before. I play a bit of guitar as well. So I've certainly tested out demo versions of that before, but we're gonna, it'll be interesting to see what you get for free in this Guitar Rig 5 player. Plus flexible, powerful multi effects unit. That's what's built into Guitar Rig. And you get the Contact 5 player. Now this is what interests me the most because I've been quite curious about getting into Contact myself. This is just the player version though. So you can just basically load some sounds and not edit them at all. Let's see what it says. A high performance playback engine for sampled instruments. Contact 5 player opens the door to the amazing world of contact. Yeah, it's a bit of an introduction to contact. It gives you a little bit of an experience of it. You get to play around with the GUI and load some of the smaller sample sets, but that's pretty much it. But we'll try that out as well. 
And this is nice included free contact factory selection with 50 premium instruments. I'm very much looking forward to trying these out. Outstanding instruments from Contact's band, synth, urban beats, vintage and world libraries. And I'll certainly give you my opinions on how those sound and we'll do a lot of playing so that you can judge for yourself. So to download this product, you enter your email address, your country, and then you'll get an email later from Native Instruments with a link to download the software and also the serial number. So in order to install this software package, you first need to install this Native Access application, and then you need to register for an account with Native Instruments, but that was pretty straightforward, really. After doing that, you enter your serial number into the box up here, and then all of the products that you're entitled to pop up here in native access and then you can just press a button install all which I did I don't know exactly how long it took because I gave up after an hour and went out but it's about a three or four gigabyte download actually you can see maybe you can't see here after installation you can't see it anymore but it did list the sizes of each of these I think in total it was about maybe five or six gigabytes but you can see here what we've installed I'm pausing a little bit because I don't recognize some of these. Control editor, I don't know what that is, but guitar rig we've certainly got now. Contact factory selection is the sound library for the contact player. Reactor five player, reactor six player. I don't know why they give you two different versions. That led to a lot of confusion for me actually when I was trying to load some of these and the presets in my DAW. So you get Reactor 6 player, you get Reactor Blocks wired, and then a library of synths and sounds for Reactor. So let's fire up Reaper, which is my DAW of choice, and we'll take a look at one of these instruments. Okay, so now you are looking at Reaper. We have one track over here with one instance of guitar rig, and I can, for example, drag in an amplifier simulation here, and if we want, we can add some various pedals let's put a looks like a tube screamer emulation there at the front of the chain so that's what it looks like and i was very happy to see that native instruments include even standalone versions of all of these instruments so that you can run it directly from your desktop without needing to use a daw but i prefer using a daw anyway so that's the route we'll be going for all of these demonstrations so that was it for the introduction and overview. No playing today, I'm sorry about that, but stay tuned for the next episode where we will be digging into the contact player and the sample library. I promise you there will be tons of playing from me on that video. If you're a complete user yourself, then let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback on this product, or if you've tried out the free version as well, I'd like to hear from you if you think it's worth the download. Also, if there's any specific question you want me to dig into in the upcoming videos, then let me know and I'll try and accommodate you. Thanks for watching this video today. Thanks for subscribing and I'll see you soon. Cheerio.